Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn about Hangfire. Hangfire is basically a job scheduler. It basically uses a database behind the scene to keep you know, track of all the jobs and formation. I would say all the metadata related to the jobs. So for example, let's say some jobs you want to trigger immediately and execute immediately, but some jobs you want to trigger immediately, but you want them to be executed after some time, depending on the configuration, right? So those sort of you know, information, or I would say metadata, it used to keep in a database. And depending on that configuration set into DB, it will execute those you know jobs and uh, it basically like it has it supports a lot of databases like uh, the, like if you go to uh, getting started I mean their documentation if I click over here if you see uh, so by default they will show you the configuration related to you know SQL but you can use any database in this DB I will be using um, uh, uh, MongoDB all right and it supports uh, some of the methods like you can see this is the one i was talking about like if you want to just fire and forget like we trigger immediately and execute immediately and this is like you want to trigger right now but you want to execute after some time here if you see this example it's saying after seven days i mean like like depending on the configuration like recurring jobs means like let's say every five second every or it's in this case it's like a cron uh, daily job Right? so every day one time it will execute so depending on configuration you can do it this is like another example let's say when you want you know when some some kind of acknowledgement let's say let's say you are having some job and like it's a like a daily or or let's say some job is there and you want to know when the job is completed you want to trigger one more job like you know like a join or you can say you know related join or continuous uh, jo uh, jobs so you can use uh, these kind of examples where you need to provide the job ID so whenever you trigger any job or uh, I mean like I would say the, like it will give you the uh, job ID and use that job ID to uh, use this kind of example I mean to say the continuous examples and sometimes you want like a lot of jobs you want to run on a parallel I like in a little kind of batch and then you when the batch is over then you want to do, you know perform some kind of uh, continuous so that is also available all right and to you to to register hang file into your application so i am using a dotnet core 5 web api project it's a simple hello world kind of project and i'll just show you what kind of configuration you will be doing to set up the hang file into your system i'm i mean to say your application so you just go to uh, startup there is no change in the program files stuff before going to the startup i'll show you the uh, libraries what you want to you know like for we will be downloading from the new get package manager so basically you need these two hangfire hangfire.mongo hangfire is basically full ecosystem uh, like and hangfire.mongo to support so that you can use mongodb behind the scene where it will keep all you know metadata job related metadata now let's go to the startup file here you will be doing two kind of configuration so let's go to the first one is over here you can see this section here there are a lot of configuration i will come to that part in a bit so you can see if we, first you need to set the strategy what it should do and then, then second one is what is the database name you want to give it and where is your database in my case my mongodb uh, right now i'm not keeping user and password so ideally uh, good practice to keep it user and password so i'm just having a plain mongodb connection string and i'm giving a database specifically only for hang fire i'm saying hang fire master db that means there it will keep all the job related information and uh, for let's say if your application is also you wants to use a db then you create a new db so that for that i am just having a new db here and i'm giving application underscore db that's a database name all right so the first configuration is this much you can see uh, uh, this region you set the strategy and set the connection string second thing you will be doing in the configure method there you just need to say uh, you start a uh, hang fire server i will use hang fire server and it also provides you a you know ui a beautiful ui where you can see uh which job is executed which is about to you know, getting uh, like a, which will be you know getting executed in some time or kind of like kind of dashboard information you will be getting over there and this is just a like a fire and forget kind of job if i go back to the uh, uh, this um, hang fire um home page you will see this kind of right fire and forget. just say background job dot nq and then just provide the action what you want to do it so and what i'm doing whenever you will start your application i am saying welcome to the hang fire with mongodb something like all right so now this is all about the setup part now how to execute this is also one of the like way of executing but let's say you want to execute and do some stuff over there right so what i'll be doing i have a controller where i'm keeping a post method 
okay this is the one i am talking about it right now in this what i am actually doing i am triggering a job and for that job i am taking two parameters from the uh, this api itself what is the message and when it should trigger i mean when it should get executed it will trigger to get immediately but it will be executing in some time right depending on this configuration which is delay in second you can use any configuration whatever you want it use it all right and uh, so in this action you can do whatever you want to do you want to trigger an email you want to do something you want to run some business logic or whatever you want to do what i am doing simply whenever this uh, post api is getting called i am triggering this dot schedule job method in that i am passing uh, or i am just calling an add method what it will do it will just set this or save this message into the uh, db which is application db which i was talking about when i was explaining about the registration part right so here i am having a db called application db this is my personal or i would say the application db not related to master db just for the sake of this example i am using this db what i'll do whenever you trigger whenever it's getting executed it will save that data whatever is data into this db so that way we will get to know like what is how things are going on all right so if I go back to controller, you can see uh, it's just saying schedule and action I'm passing and fire repository dot add add is basically used to save the data into DB. So I'm just saying collection dot insert. It's just you know like a simple way of saving the data into MongoDB. I've already created a video if you want to have a look on the how to you know work with the MongoDB like in G Sharp. So I'll put a link also in the description by the way. All right, so <clears throat> let's start the application now and if you see there is no database right now all right so when you start for the first time it will create master db all right so you can see this uh, application is up and running and there is a post api which you can see over here and there are two fields uh, to buy, uh, one is mass another one is the uh, delay seconds by default the value is one all right before going to this i'll show you db now and let me refresh this it might have already created the default db which is nothing but master db i'm talking about it and it is having hang fire uh, you know a lot of collections where it used to keep all kind of you know, you know and meta information related to shops here if you see here like you know so much data is created already so let's close this one and before this i'll show you one more url which is hang fire dashboard all right so you just need to type slash hang fire and you will see this kind of dashboard and if i if you go to shops um, tab you will see there is a one succeeded this is saying one job is already executed if you i go back to the application you might have already seen in the startup i was just running one uh, hello message hello word kind of message right it's over here this is a first job if i restart this application let's see So now the application is started again and that means it might have already executed one more uh, one more time this hello message right all right so if i go back to the dashboard again it should show two jobs because one job was executed last time when when i started the application so if you go back to the jobs you see it's saying two and both are same <coughs> all right so let me this is just a matter we should not touch into this one but from here you can do many stuff which i will be showing in just a bit uh, let me trigger this one first so i just want to say hello message one this is the first message i am just setting the one second only delay and then it should just trigger it so job is gone it will take its own time let me refresh it uh, it's still not executed so you can see the job is executed application underscore db what i'm doing i'm creating a job and then when it's getting executed i'm just saving the information to db this is just to show you how hang fire works you can do anything depending on your use case for example let's say when the job is triggered i'm like i mean you want to trigger some emails on you know some particular time so instead of saving data into db you will trigger email or you may run some business logic stuff like that all right so if i go with collection you can see there is a one message called hello message which got triggered all right now i will i'll go back to the dashboard again and if i refresh here 
you can see there are there is one more job got created and which got executed also but there is one more feature also over here you can just re-trigger from here itself in some use case right there's a possibility you want to re-trigger some jobs uh, depending on the business scenario i'm just uh, just telling you all the possible you know features from here so if i re-trigger here so the job is triggered now if i refresh see it got triggered now if i go back to db it should show see one more message came all right so this is another thing now second thing is uh, which is very important thing since it's using a db so there is one feature over here not feature it's like it will make sense to you also what i'm trying to say if i set a delay of 60 seconds all right then this message will be going into db after 60 seconds all right so if i trigger now now if i go back to db there is nothing it's still 60 but what i'll do i'll stop the application now itself all right now if i restart this application again it will do the job because the data is captured in the db i mean to say in the master db what it's supposed to do after one minute right it got triggered just that it is not executed because the delay we have given as 60 seconds all right so now if i restart the application you should see the third message all right so i think 60 seconds is still not over so let me that doesn't really matter now you are restarting now so it depends on the configuration i'm mean like 60 seconds if it's over it will like me immediately execute if it's not over then it will uh, execute after some time only all right so now I just need to refresh the db see it's still not completed so it will check master db and once that is taken care it will just show you the message over here see the third message came so we stop so this is the beauty of this hang fire all right and <clears throat> in the beginning itself i have shown you the uh, all possible methods like you can just trigger immediately you can trigger after some time or continuous job these sort of things you can do it for mongodb i was referring this article um, from this uh, hangfire.mongo and then they are having many features also sometime you want a different collection name different db or i'm mean, like you want all the collection name to be you know in a different pad like all sort of things you can do it so for example if we go back and if you see this uh, uh, hang fire master DV the collection names are hang fire dot something but you want something else right those things also do you know can be taken care by these configuration you can take care all right that's pretty much about this uh, video thank you very much